Hey there, I know you most likely already know about FL Studio's core generation tool, but a lot of people still don't know how to get the best out of it. So let me show you a few simple tips you can try to get the most out of FL Studio core generation tool because I think it's pretty great. So the first thing we're going to do is come to this drop down right here, then come to tools and then come to generate code progression. You can use the shortcut alternate P or option P in Mac. Now, how do we use this? Now, it's real simple, okay? Typically, you want to click generate and to give you different chords, okay? So, if we click this, it's going to rework your existing chord progression. If we click this, it's going to give you new set of chord progression, okay? So, if I, let me leave it on this. Then, if I click generate, you see new chords are going to keep forming, okay? New chords, new chords, new chords. All right. And now another thing you can do to make it even more interesting is set your key and skill. So, just right click right here, come to edit. Then, let's say I want to work with d sharp major okay so if once i click generate again it's going to reorganize them into d sharp major and it's going to give me more interesting chord progressions in d sharp major and if i don't want to hear the bass note because there are bass notes in the extensions right here i can turn it off by clicking this right here so the bass notes go off click it for each of the chords So we have that and if you want to maybe change just one chord maybe you like the chord but one of the chords feels a little bit off to you we can come to that particular chord and just click let's say this guy right here we can click this and it's going to give us a different progression for that particular um part you can hear that let's try something else I like that. Nice. So we can play with that that way. Another thing again we can do to this course to make it sound even more exciting is adjust the length of the course. So if you don't want the course to be one full bar long, we can click this right here. And change it to two bits so we just make sure everything is highlighted by pressing command a or control a and then click generate and you're going to see they're all going to fit you can see that they are sharing a bar now so let's change it to, to be more adventurous let's see what we we'll get out of it generate again Love that so i love that chord progression and we can come into this part right here you can pick a pre-existing um chord progressions you can see it's going to tell you like the mood is going to give you hopeful yearning nostalgic and if you come to minors you know we have this tense uh dramatic now major chords typically have more positive emotions now while minor chords typically have darker emotions okay so let's try optimistic let's hear that sound Let's try sad. Let's generate again. Let's come to emotional. So I like this chord, but the last chord, I want to change that. So let's tweak that. like that so i can simply click accept and then i can play with the velocity now alt x and if you want the bass notes you can also take it out but now let's hear it with our drums increase the volume Just like that, we have a nice chord progression in FL Studio. 
And if you want to learn more on how to make Afrobeat on my piano, don't forget to check out our online certification music production courses. Just visit our website, sctutorials.com, or click the link in the description of this video. If you find this helpful, like and follow for more. Cheers.